look! I'm on an asteroid! It's pretty big for an asteroid. It's about as big as the Empire State Building! And the name of this asteroid is Apophis! Hi, Apophis! Hello, homie. Apophis is a really big asteroid, but it's still way smaller than the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs. That asteroid was the size of Mount Everest. <laughs> hey, you ever wondered if an asteroid like that could hit us, you know, wipe out all the humans just like the dinosaurs? Type thumbs up if you have and thumbs down if you haven't. I mean, Imagine Mount Everest crashing into the planet, traveling 150 times faster than an airplane? <laughs> it's kind of awesome. Besides the catastrophic loss of life, of course. I think some of you have wondered if that could happen to us, and you're not alone. About 20 years ago, astronomers got really worried about the asteroid that I'm standing on right now, Apophis. They measured where Apophis was going, and they realized it was headed for Earth. Even though it's a lot smaller than the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs, Apophis is still big enough that it would cause some pretty major damage, depending on where it hit. In fact, this was the most worried scientists have ever been about an asteroid. So, they kept watching Apophis, and they took more and more exact measurements of where it was going until they knew exactly where it was headed. And it turns out, it's actually going to just miss Earth. Phew. Now we know that in 2029, Apophis will fly right by Earth, closer than some satellites. It'll be so close, you'll be able to see it from Earth without a telescope. I'm gonna mark my calendar. All right, 2029, watch, giant asteroid. Scientists are able to find asteroids like Apophis because they're always looking for them. In fact, scientists have found nearly one million asteroids in our solar system, and they find more every day. So far, we haven't found any big ones headed for Earth. But if we do find any headed towards us, we might be able to knock them off course by shooting a spaceship at them like a cannonball. In fact, this spaceship is headed toward an asteroid right now to try doing that for the first time. So a giant asteroid might have killed the dinosaurs, but we humans are more prepared. We're on the lookout and learning how to knock asteroids off course. By the way, isn't it so cool how asteroids have names? And I heard that if you discover one, you get to name it. So if any of you ever find one, you can name it like Chip or Taco or Rocky the Space Rock. Lots of ideas, all equally good. Gotta keep brainstorming. See you next time, Tabernauts! That was awesome! If you want to learn even more, you can find hundreds more experiments, lessons, and activities by asking a parent to go to tappityapp.com. We can't wait to see you there!